So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. I'm going to show you two ways how to get to this screen. Now for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. So if you can sign into Windows like me, I'm on Windows right now. You want to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And then once you're on this, next to advanced startup, we're going to click on restart now. And then click on restart now again. It's then going to take us into that screen. And now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, then you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Then you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. Make sure to turn off your computer straight away after you turn it on. Just straight away do it. So turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you want to turn it off again quickly and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and it will take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, there's a few things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on system restore. If you do not see system restore, you want to click on see more recovery options and then it should appear right here. So now you want to click on system restore and now this will come up. If you have a restore point enabled on your computer, you want to click on next and then you want to go back to it. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on start to prepare. It's now going to diagnose your PC, see if this fixes your problem. If that did not work, we're going to click on advanced options. And now for the third method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on reset this PC. You have two options you can go with, either keep my files or remove everything. If your files are not backed up, you want to click on keep my files. Go along with this. If you have your files backed up, you want to go remove everything. And then now you want to reset your computer and then hopefully your problem should be fixed now.